for joining me on the launch pad today. What's up? How you doing? Hey, man, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm chilling. Awesome. I'm good. Well, hey, thanks for joining us. I mean, let's just address the elephant in the room right now. You know, well, we look the uh, same. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what's it like, you know, getting interviewed and talking to yourself? I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know um, that when I met you at Body Language, I walked up to you and you're like, this mf -er right here. Can't tell you how many times I've been tagged in different videos and photos of you. I, I actually, I've actually been tagged. I've seen tags of you <laughs> on my Instagram. People thinking that you're me. That's hilarious. Yeah. I, the, when you played at Shady Park last year, I was at an after party afterwards, and I'm sitting on the couch, and people are coming up. They're literally they're taking photos with me, and uh, you know, I'm just, I just I told so many people no all night that I was like, I'm just gonna play it off at this point. Yeah, you and One of my, do it. my friends walked in the room. It's like, bitch, that's not noisy. That's Nick. You're the American noisy. <laughs> I know. So <laughs> you, you grew up overseas. Like, what's the the biggest difference in growing up overseas and living here now? And I know you're based out in LA. Yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I used to live in London. I was born in London, and I moved to America six years ago. Okay moved to LA and uh, I was only supposed to move here for like a year and then I ended up just staying and I don't, I don't think I'm gonna move back that you won't move back nah. like do you miss the culture and like yeah. how you grew up there I mean it's yeah. it's a lot more it feel like it's a lot more proper than America it's yeah. over here it's a big like you know effort over there they seem a lot more you know cleaned up like is that yeah. is that your biggest takeaway coming over here too yeah I do I miss certain things I miss pubs okay yeah pubs. you'd like it in Boston then a lot of pubs yeah Boston's cool okay. yeah and New York actually has some cool pubs. some good pubs yeah. like doing traveling obviously it's gonna be taxing on you and you know going from city to city like do you enjoy that process um, I find the flying is tiring you know like but it's part of the job and yeah. I, I, at the end of the day I love playing and when you get to play it's, it's always worth it yeah it's like the travel is just the, the, the ship bit in the middle yeah. that you just have to do what was the the moment when you realized like this is what I want to do and did you drop everything and say I'm devoting my whole life and attention to this right here like yeah. was there a moment where that happened for you kind yeah of? when I when I moved to America I I, uh, I saw people like Chris Lake and um, I was like I, I think I could do that as well you know and um, yeah I just I just had like my mind focused on just doing that and uh, it took a while but it, it paid off in the end so yeah I yeah. love that so let's take you outside of the noisy project and you know to, to you as a person like tell me a little bit about your day-to-day -day when you're not focused on music I'm sure a lot of that consumes your life but you know what are your some some of your hobbies like what do you like to do to just kind of escape all the craziness of touring uh, I like cooking I like cooking yeah, what's your food. favorite meal to cook so I, I bought a big green egg barbecue okay and I, I use it every Day. Okay. Uh, well, every day when I'm at home, uh, and we just started a hot sauce company. You started a hot sauce company. Yeah. I'm a big hot sauce guy. What's your favorite one? Uh, the, the new one we just put out. Okay. The, okay. Well, plug it. Plug it. What is it? It's called Baby Baby. Okay. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big Louise Leanna hot sauce guy. Okay, Frank's. Yeah. I do put that shit on literally everything. Yeah. Um, okay. I but love that's that. like that's like the kind of uh, other thing that I love doing. And that's why we started the hot sauce company. Okay. And um, I really want to like grow that past just music as well. You know. Like, yeah. Are you? Yeah. You know. Obviously, you have a, a platform to be able to promote and market that as well. Like, yeah. what are some of the similarities that you're finding in growing your DJ project and your producing career to also now launching a hot sauce company and doing that? Uh, they're both equally as hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. It, it, it's one of those things where it just takes time and I think um, everyone expects everything to just happen overnight yeah. and I think um, we, we, we've kind of got this far with the noisy project and then we have the hot sauce company and you want it to be like just as big as yeah, what course. we're doing with the music but it's like um, we just have to let it grow you know. Yeah. Yeah. What has been some of the biggest struggles in both processes both when you were you know, a young DJ and producer, and now as a young entrepreneur in another vertical. Honestly, the hardest struggle was actually uh, the pandemic. Okay. I had um, I had like one month left before I couldn't pay rent, okay. and my business was like overdrawn and all this stuff. And then, um, luckily, like that month, I had some shows like driving raves, and it just like saved everything. Uh, that was probably like the the lowest moment, but at the same time. It was when I wrote Summer 91, which became like a hit in Europe, and it went like gold. Uh, so it was like low and then came super high really yeah. quick. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like sometimes 
you, it can't always be up here. I mean, yeah. You have to go like this, you know. Yeah, I mean, what was your biggest takeaway during that time period and that struggle that really you use now, like every day? Just, to... just like work your ass off. Yeah. Like do all the shows I can do as long as they're good, um, and just like keep doing what you do because it's like that's that's all you can do. Yeah. It's either that or it's just not going to be a thing, you know. Not being able to play shows during the pandemic, like what did you do to keep yourself busy? Were you producing a lot of music? Yeah, yeah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 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 honestly, I, in the pandemic, I started a side project where I made stuff that sounds like um, uh, what's his name, Fred again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Who's blowing up? And I have like. A hot, well, it's funny because he's blown up, and I have like about eight tracks that sound like the stuff he's <laughs> releasing now. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I could have like dropped this side project, it'd probably do well now. But. Yeah. yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah, I love that. I just lost focus in the pandemic, I lost focus a little bit. Yeah, I think everyone did because there was no, um, sure. there was no like, yeah. No consistency. Right, it was just you know, like you make your music you for clubs, and it's like clubs. That you're, you know, you're used yeah. to doing every day and whatnot. Okay. But yeah, anyway, so, no more fucking. Pandemic. Yeah, no more pandemics. <laughs> we're, we're done with that. So just you know, kind of thinking about um, your your hobbies again. You said you love cooking. What's your favorite meal to, to eat um, that you don't have to? Cook? When I get off tour, I always have steak and broccoli. Okay. I don't know why. It's just like it, when I'm super run down. I just crave broccoli and steak for some reason. I don't okay. know why. I don't Love know that. why. Uh, but I've been like slow cooking stuff on the uh, on the barbecue. I've been enjoying that, like okay. trying to trying to get the process. What's your right. favorite thing to barbecue? Uh, I've been I've been trying to like smash brisket. Okay. I like, get that like Ooh, perfect. Brisket is undefeated. The other day I made a banging brisket. Okay. Yeah, it was good. It I was. I have to admit, it was better than any brisket I've had in any restaurant in LA. Okay, that's your next brand, brisket. Maybe. Brisket brand. By Maybe me. I might start a food truck. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, I really appreciate you joining us. Um, you know, before I let you go at Moon Landing, we really are just grateful and you know we like to practice gratitude you know in your life and it doesn't have to be related to music but what's you know something that you're grateful for you know either just now or in the near future um to be honest like it sounds really cheesy but like fans yeah um because you you you, you sit at home and you make this music and you go and play out and it's cool and everything, but like without people turning up to your shows or listening to your music, yeah. it's like pointless. Yeah. So yeah. that that's actually genuinely changed my life. So yeah. I love it. Well, yeah. thanks for joining me on the launch pad and following me to the moon. That's right. Signing <laughs> off from Moon Landing. I'm Nick Lamro. Okay. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it.